Hello and welcome. My name is Afar Iqbal and you're watching the Mojo story. The new just coming in is that the BJP has named Vishnu Dev Sai as the next chief minister of Chhattisgarh. Now, this was done following a decision made during the Chhattisgarh Legislative Party meeting uh, that took place today. The move comes amidst criticism uh, faced by the party for the delayed announcement of its chief ministerial candidates in the three states were at one election, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Uh, remember, there were observers uh, who were appointed. They met with the legislators in Chhattisgarh today. Tomorrow, they are going to do conduct a similar exercise in Madhya Pradesh. And day after tomorrow, it will be done in Rajasthan. So the suspense about uh, the chief ministers is going to end soon. Today, it has been uh, the names have come out as far as Chhattisgarh is concerned. Uh, the BJP has named Vishnu Dev Sai as its next chief ministerial candidate of Chhattisgarh. But who is Vishnu Dev Sai? Now, Vishnu Dev Sai won the Chhattisgarh Assembly election uh, from Kunkuri. Uh, Sai was the Chhattisgarh state president of the BJP from 2020 to 2022. He was also the Minister of State for Steel, Mines, Labor and Employment during the first uh, Modi cabinet. Uh, Vishnu Dev has won four consecutive Lok Sabha elections from uh, the Raigad constituency in 1999, 2004, 2009 and 2014. So clearly a veteran in politics and a senior BJP leader. He defeated Congress candidates Pushpa Devi Singh, uh, Ram Pukar Singh, uh, Hriday Ram Rakhia and R.T. Singh in these elections. I won two consecutive assembly elections in 1990 and 1993 from the Tapkara constituency in undivided Madhya Pradesh. Uh, Vishnu Dev defeated U.D. Mink, the sitting Congress MLA this time in Chhattisgarh assembly election. So this time he out from Chhattisgarh and defeated uh, the Congress candidate uh, there. So clearly, uh, it it all of this happened after the observers met with 54 newly elected legislators in Chhattisgarh to determine uh, the legislative party meeting. Now, those observers were deputed and today they met with the legislators and put an end to the suspense surrounding who the chief ministerial role in the state. It is now been announced that uh, Vishnu Dev Sai, you can see on your screen, will be the chief minister of Chhattisgarh. That's been now announced by the BJP. The BJP secured a significant victory in Chhattisgarh. It won 54 out of the 90 assembly constituencies, while the Congress claimed 35 seats. Uh, with a notable share of 46.27%. Uh, now, following uh, the Chhattisgarh decision, uh, the BJP conducted a legislative party meeting uh, there in Chhattisgarh, and tomorrow it will be done in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, where the chief minister uh, will be selected, and uh, then later on in uh, Rajasthan. So clearly, that's the new development that we are bringing to you right now in this live transmission that BJP has announced its chief ministerial candidate in the state of Chhattisgarh. The delay in BJP's uh, chief ministerial announcement had led to widespread speculation and criticism. Uh, uh, Raman Singh has uh, been sidelined according to the new decision. You can see that's the breaking news on your screen, Vishnu Dev Sai to be Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. The new development, the suspense has ended seven days after the election results were announced in BJP. One in three states, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. And, uh, and then these uh, uh, appointed, the, the, the observers were appointed, they had a meeting with uh, the legislators, uh, and then afterwards, this decision was made. Um, again, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, who is Vishnu Dev Sai? Vishnu Dev Sai won the Chhattisgarh Assembly election 
2023 from Kunkuri Sai was the Chhattisgarh State President of the BJP from 2020 to 2022. He was also the Minister of State for Steel, Mines, Labour and Employment during the first Modi cabinet. Vishnu Dev won four consecutive Lok Sabha elections from Raigad constituency in 1999, 2004, 2009 and 2014. Sai had defeated Congress candidate Pushpa Devi Singh, Ram Pukar Singh, Hriday Ram Rathia and Aarti Singh in these elections. I won two consecutive assembly elections in 1990 and 1993 from Tapkara constituency in the undivided state of Madhya Pradesh, which they defeated UD Mint, the sitting Congress MLA, this time in Chhattisgarh assembly election 2023. And now he's emerged as the chief ministerial candidate of the BJP. That announcement has been made, and we expect announcement for Madhya Pradesh and uh, Rajasthan uh, tomorrow and day after. But now, clearly, the suspense has ended. The BJP was in for a lot of criticism for not announcing its chief ministerial uh, candidate. Of course, the party went to polls without making the announcement that who is going to be its chief minister. The chief minister, if the party wins the election and seven days after the results came in uh, the party has in fact made that announcement and it has announced that vishnu dev sai will be its chief ministerial candidate so he's going to be the next chief minister the party had achieved a significant victory in chhattisgarh winning 54 out of the 90 assembly constituencies with the congress claimed 35 with a notable vote share of 46.27 percent now following the chhattisgarh uh, decision the bjp is set to conduct a legislative party meeting in bhopal tomorrow to announce the chief minister candidate for madhya pradesh um, among the top contenders for the position there are incumbents shivraj singh chauhan pralad singh patel kalash vijay vargya and jyotirajya sindhya so, but that's going to come up tomorrow. But today, of course, the big decision has been made by the party. There was, in fact, a cryptic social media post by Union Home Minister Amit Shah. He shared a chess theme post uh, where he talked about moves. He said, a move, good move is a better move over a good move. That's the word that he used in that social media post while playing chess uh, with a couple of children you can see on that post Amit Shah don't settle for a good move always look for a better move that was the recent post of Union Minister Amit Shah as speculations were thick about the chief ministerial candidates for Chhattisgarh for Madhya Pradesh and for Rajasthan Kon Banega Mukhmantri that's the big question for now it's been solved for uh, the state of Chhattisgarh but of course there will be meeting legislative party meetings tomorrow and day after in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan where chief ministers will be announced but for now BJP has picked up Vishnu Dev Sai for Chhattisgarh the chief minister post uh, he has been a veteran in the party has won numerous elections uh, from that constituency and he has now been uh, selected to be the chief minister uh, real candidate of BJP in uh, Chhattisgarh. Of course, that's a big development uh, that has come about. There were uh, observers who were deputed by the BJP uh, in Chhattisgarh. They met today in Chhattisgarh with uh, the legislators and then afterwards this decision was made. Tomorrow a similar exercise will be conducted in Madhya Pradesh and day after that it will be followed in Rajasthan, uh, but clearly uh, the suspense about Chhattisgarh has now ended. Vishnu Dev Sai won the Chhattisgarh Assembly election 2023 from Kunpuri, was the Chhattisgarh State President of the BJP from 2020 to 2022. He was also the Minister of State for Steel, Mines, Labour and Employment during uh, the Narendra Modi cabinet, first Modi cabinet uh, in 2014. Vishnu Dev won four consecutive Lok Sabha elections from Ramgarh constituency in 1999, 2004, 2009 and 2014. 
So clearly a veteran in politics and a senior BJP leader who has now uh, been, uh, uh, the party has announced that he's going to lead uh, uh, the government in the state. He's going to be the chief minister on the photo. You can see a uh, meeting with senior BJP leaders, Rajnath Singh. Uh, the, the news is that BJP has picked up Vishnu Dev Sai for Chhattisgarh for the chief minister post, a veteran in politics and a senior BJP leader uh, in Chhattisgarh. This happened seven days after the election results were declared in which BJP won in three states, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. And today, BJP making that decision that uh, Vishnu Dev Sai is going to be the chief minister of Chhattisgarh. And tomorrow, the observers are going to meet with uh, the legislators in Madhya Pradesh. And then afterwards, an announcement will be made for Madhya Pradesh. And day after that, it's going to happen for Rajasthan. So clearly, that's the news that we are bringing to you at this point in time. The suspense has, in fact, ended. The BJP has named Vishnu Dev Sai as the next Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. This followed a decision made during the Chhattisgarh Legislature Party meeting. The move came amidst criticism faced by the BJP for the delayed announcement of its Chief Ministerial candidates in the three states of Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. The BJP had scheduled, has now scheduled a Legislature Party meeting from Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan within the next two days. Uh, where a final decision will be made about the choice of chief minister in Madhya Pradesh and in Rajasthan. But clearly the delayed decision-making process had drawn a lot of attention and criticism, which prompted the party to appoint nine observers for the three states. The observers met with the legislators in Chhattisgarh today, and the, and the name of the chief minister was finalized. And tomorrow, the same exercise will be repeated in Madhya Pradesh and then that will happen for Rajasthan. Uh, so clearly we're keeping a close eye on the developments in these three states. Uh, but for now, the news is that Vishnu Dev Sai is going to be the chief minister of Chhattisgarh. Uh, the BJP legislators which met today have decided and he's going to lead the state and he's going to be the chief minister. We'll keep tracking all the developments uh, in these three states. But for now, thanks so much for joining us. And thanks for watching the Mojo story. Mojo Story has always made a commitment to its viewers to go to where the story is. And as you can see here, we are at the epicenter of the Israel war on Gaza. We are right at the front line, about one mile from the Gaza Strip, as the Israeli military gets ready with its tanks and its gunners to begin its final frontal assault that will take troops into Gaza. As we said, we are not like other organizations. We believe in giving you all sides of the story objectively and as much as possible from the ground. And that's exactly what we're doing here, covering the biggest global story today from the epicenter of the war zone. So please, we need your support. Support us, become a Mojo member, subscribe to us, spread the word and thank you for your support.